In this tutorial, we learn how to solve linear inequalities in which the unknown x appears on both sides of the inequality. And we're going to work through two examples, the first of which is shown here. To get us started, let me move this question to the side, like so. So the inequality is 3x minus 1 less than or equal to x plus 5. The whole idea behind solving this inequality is to gather all the terms without an x, so in this case that would be this 1 that's being subtracted and the 5 that's being added on one side of the inequality, and all the terms with an x, that would be 3x and x, on the other side of the inequality. And what I like to do is gather all the terms without an x on the right hand side. And to do that I use inverse operations. So let's get rid of this 1 on the left hand side. We can see here that this 1 is being subtracted from the 3x. So to get rid of the 1, I'm going to add 1 to the left hand side. But since I'm adding 1 to the left hand side, I have to do the same on the right hand side. Now on the left hand side I end up with 3x minus 1 plus 1, which leads to 3x. And that's less than or equal to x plus 5 plus 1. So that's x plus 6. On the left hand side we can now see that there is no longer a term without an x, which is exactly what we wanted. To carry on, let's get rid of this x on the right hand side. The x that we have here on the right hand side can be thought of as 1x, we just never write the coefficient 1. And because this is a positive 1x, we can think of this as an x being added to the right hand side. So to get rid of it, we're going to subtract x from the right hand side. But since we're doing that on the right hand side, we have to do the same on the left hand side. And that leads us to 3x minus x, which is 2x, which will be less than or equal to x plus 6 minus x, which leaves us with 6. We're now faced with an inequality which is much simpler to solve. We can see on the left hand side that this x is being multiplied by 2. So to get rid of that 2, we're going to divide that left hand side by 2. But since we're doing that on the left hand side, we must do the same on the right hand side. And so the inequality we have here becomes 2 times x divided by 2, which leaves us with x on the left hand side, less than or equal to 6 divided by 2, which leaves us with 3. And that's the final answer. And if wanted to, or if needs be, we could represent or illustrate this answer on the number line. So if I have 0 here, 1 here, 2 here, and so on, to illustrate x less than or equal to 3, I place a dot above the 3, which I fill in, and starting from that dot I draw an arrow pointing towards all the values of x less than 3. Notice that the dot above the 3 is filled in. That's to highlight the fact that x can be equal to 3. And that's our first example done. Let's look at the next example. Say we need to solve 2x plus 8 greater than 5x minus 4. Well again, let me start by moving this question to the side, like so. So our inequality is 2x plus 8 greater than 5x minus 4. The approach is still the same. I want to make sure that I gather all the terms without an x on one side of the equation, and I'll gather them all on the right hand side. To do that, I need to start by getting rid of this 8 on the left hand side. This 8 is being added to the left hand side, so to get rid of it I need to subtract 8. But since I'm subtracting 8 on the left hand side, I need to do the same on the right hand side. And this leads us to the following. 2x plus 8 minus 8, well that's just 2x, greater than 5x minus 4 minus 8. And that's equal to 5x minus 12. And we can now see that the term without an x is on the right hand side, which is exactly what we wanted. Our next step is to make sure that all the terms with an x are on the left hand side. So looking at the right hand side here, I have positive 5x, and I need to get rid of that, or I need to take that away. To do that, I subtract 5x from the right hand side. But since I'm doing that to the right hand side, I need to do the same on the left hand side. So I subtract 5x from 2x. And so we have 2x minus 5x, which is negative 3x, and that's greater than 5x minus 12 minus 5x, which leaves us with negative 12. 
and we now solve negative 3x greater than negative 12. On the left hand side we can see that x is being multiplied by negative 3. So to get rid of this negative 3 we have to divide by negative 3. But since I'm doing that on the left hand side I must do the same on the right hand side. And careful, in this case I'm dividing by a negative number. Remember that when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. So this greater than is going to turn into a less than. Here's what I mean. We have negative 3x divided by negative 3, and that leaves us with x. On the right hand side we have negative 12 divided by negative 3, and that's equal to 4. But since we just divided both sides of this inequality by a negative number, we need to reverse this inequality symbol and state the final answer as x is less than 4. And that's the answer. As always, we could illustrate this answer on the number line. So if I say 0 is here, 1 is there, 2 is there, and so on, to illustrate x less than 4, I place a dot above the 4, and starting from that dot I draw an arrow pointing towards all the numbers less than 4. Notice that in this case I leave the dot above the 4 completely empty, and that's to highlight the fact that x in this case cannot equal to 4, it must be less than it. And there we go. That's it for this tutorial.